Hey guys, welcome to today's video. Today I am working in the garden trying to get things done because you guys know that we're planning to have a get together this weekend and I want the garden to look nice. The problem is, it's always full of snakes. But today, Sam and I are going to look at a new farm. You guys know we've been kind of looking for a farm off and on. We've been continuing our search, but we want to stay in a specific area. And plus with COVID, all the prices skyrocketed. So it has been super hard. But today, we are going to look at a farm. And I want to tell you about how we almost got two new ponies. You guys know that we've been looking for another farm. Like, we want to get our forever farm, but we don't want, like don't want to settle this was our in the middle farm our first farm and we don't want to settle I actually really like it here I love the mentality in the town that we live in and I love the people and I love all the connections we've made in the horse world but we want to move we want to like have our forever farm and keep dreaming what it's gonna look like I keep dreaming the farm that I want and we just have never found it yet anyway there's an open house today and we're gonna go and look at this farm that's local to us. I don't think it's the one, but you never know. Like, Sam's like, we need to like start really going and searching because you never know until you go. Actually, my friend told me that. So we're gonna go and see a farm today. And we have Gabby here. And Gabby's only here because she likes to go and sit in the car for car drives. And I'm the same way. Like, lots of times Sam will say, do you wanna go, blah, blah, blah. And I'll be like, yeah, I wanna go. Cause I like to just go and sit in the car. It's so weird. Let's go and see if this is the right farm for us. Oh, okay. So we're here and Sam is saying that, how many acres is this house? 53. 53 acres. Well, that's not bad. Well, there's more acres somewhere else. But there's more acres around it for sale. So we're going to go and we're going to look at it. There's so, is that the house or is that the house? Oh, so there's like a neighbor right next door, like right across the road. Like right, like the house is here and the neighbor is here. All right, let's go see it, you guys. This might be our new home. It's actually adorable. It's actually adorable. I wanted to hate it because I don't really like the location. It's adorable, you guys. Okay, so it was super cute. It was adorable. It just was like not a step up enough. Like right now we have four stalls and it had five stalls and I loved so much about it. The kitchen was a little bit smaller than I wanted, but it was super cute. It was super cute. And when Sam and I look at houses, he always loves everything that we see. And I'm always like, eh, I don't know. Like, I want, like, I want a step up. I don't want to have five stalls. I want to have seven stalls at least. I want to have 10 stalls in case, which leads me to my story about what happened today where we almost got two Shetland ponies. So before Sam and I had the girls, when we just had the boys and they were teenagers and they were getting older and they were growing up. Hi ladies. <laughs> They're like, it's you. Um, we were really heavy into the whole rescue situation. We rescued a lot. We worked with a lot of our rescue organizations, our local ones, and we rescued puppies. We took care of pregnant dogs that wouldn't do well in a shelter situation. We rescued wildlife. We did a lot of rescue stuff. In fact, lots of times we'd be just sitting home alone at night and people, random people would say, hey, I got your number from so-and-so and I have a little rabbit or I have a little bird or I have a, a chipmunk or whatever. And people would call us and they would say like, can you take it? And we would usually take it. And anyway, that still sometimes happens. Like it happens every spring, every single spring with baby raccoons. Like, Sam, you scared the horses. So anyways, like right now is raccoon season and we've had so many calls asking us to take in rescue stuff. The girls are so confused because we're in the wrong side of the arena. They're used to us coming through that door. Or <laughs> but not over here, so they're freaked out. So this morning I got a message from someone and they said that they had two Shetland ponies that needed to have a home and wanted to know if we would take them. And I was like, and I'm like, mm, I don't really have any room, but what, what color are they? And they said one was a Cremello. And I was like, mm, I love Cremellos. <laughs> 
So I said, like, I don't think that that's possible because we just don't have time anymore for that. Like, we love rescuing, we love saving, we love, like, giving a home to an animal that needs it. And, but we just don't have time. Like, we're just busy all the time. And now that it's spring especially, we're, like, trying to get our farm on track and we just don't have time and so we said no and i made some calls to see if anybody that i know would take them because we know a lot of people but i just knew that it wasn't right for us because we have like just the right amount of horses for us we have five horses and two lease horses and right now that just seems good for us and it was so tempting and so then i talked to sam about it what did you say sam i said no <laughs> he said no he said no, if we don't have the space and so we were looking at another farm today and it had a little bit more space and he said if we had this farm we would have taken them and and i don't even think for me it's not even the space but anyway it led sam to tell me that he wants to make another paddock and so now i'm going to get him to show us right here this is where it's going to be right here he wants to like put up fencing and let the horses out here and let them graze out here and how do you know it's safe though? It's not that safe so we'd have to work. So he'd make fence it? it. We'd have to make it safe. Yeah. How far down would it go? Um, see this area, the hilly spots is not safe. So I'd have to go in with my lawn tractor first. And yeah, we'd have to cut all the grass down and then get it all ready. But anyway, I'd be excited to see another winter paddock on this side of the barn. And he said, like, we could rig it so that they could come in and out from either either side. And I think that's such a good idea. And I'm excited about it, actually. If we decide to get more horses, we could separate this or make just an entrance here, like a, just a big square inside here. But I just want to reiterate that even though having a Cremello little Shetland pony would be so fun, but I don't want any more ponies, but I am on board with making more paddocks for the horses that we do have. I think that would be fun. So anyway, hopefully that will happen and that will happen soon. I'm thinking that since I told you guys, then we'll get it done quick well, too many stuff to do yeah we have a lot to do but anyway that is it for today's video i know it was mostly just a talking video but tomorrow we're back to normal it was just a busy weekend for us trying to get our farm into shape because we have big plans next weekend but anyway thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you guys in the next one don't you know that you're beautiful